Back home, I sleep with a medal above my head to remind me that I'm a winner. It's a medal from a Junior Olympics air rifle competition I competed in. It's silver. There was only one other girl competing. I may not be an athlete, but I am your saving grace. Yes, in honor of Coach Bird's 30th season here, we have bobbleheads. Ruth are dressed as Coach Bird, sweater vest and everything. We're giving them away to the first 500 fans out here today. And he's even wearing a red sweater vest for the Code Red today. I'm here at Fenway Park where it's Celtics night. Members of the Celtics World Champions 66, 76, and 86 teams were honored out on the field tonight. And John Havlicek and Satch Sanders were on hand to throw out tonight's first pitch. Coach, the game was kind of neck and neck there for a while and then Belmont really took off. What does that say to you about your team's energy? Yes, so Jason Eads up there has already run six miles. He has a sweat towel. I don't know if he's using it. He looks like he's barely breaking a sweat to me. I'm, I'm telling you, did you see that? He looks like he's just coasting along. Honestly, Is that a yawn? it makes me tired just watching him. So Josh, have you always been this tall? I, no. I was, uh, I was born, I, I was born pretty tall though. I, I, I'm 6'6 six, six now, but I was born pretty sure I was two feet tall. I was a long baby. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I was one of those giant kids. Your poor mother. Today is National Girls and Women in Sports Day, and in order to help celebrate, Belmont Athletics has deemed tonight's game Ladies Night. There was a pregame reception for all women with massages, cake, and flowers. Let me tell you, if you were a lady and you were not there, you were seriously missing out. All the girls made posters about themselves with fun facts that I will be sharing with you throughout the game. Rich? And how would you describe the atmosphere here tonight? I would say um, we have a lot of Boston sports fans and New England sports fans. I think I've been excited about not only the number of Celtics fans who are wearing their hats, um, but also who just wore their own Celtics gear tonight. And obviously when you have a, a big Red Sox game like this, a lot on the line for their team. So we've got a great crowd here. And just take me through what it's like to have two sports franchises come together for one night like this. It's great. I mean, I think we collaborate with the other teams in New England a lot. Pedro, I've gotten some really great footage of you running on the field and the wind is just blowing in your hair. <laughs> Tell me, what does that feel like? Uh, it's it's a uh, it's pretty majestic. Yeah, it seems like even though you have been ahead the whole game, the girls are not backing down at all. The energy is still high and everything. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for you tonight. Once again, I'm your saving grace, Grace Chapin. On our next episode, we discuss cheating. We'll see you next time. Does it feel weird knowing that like a lot of people can probably see straight up your nose? Wow, I never thought about that, but yes. Yes, it does now that he mentioned it. Yes, not only is it senior night, but it's also homecoming today, and the fans are really into this game. I think they might be the biggest student section the women's team has had yet this season, and I think that that's really going to pay off. The sixth man's going to help them out here today. There you go. Grace Chapin on that call. you have any more fun facts for us, Gracie? Well, I want to talk about Maddie Blevins a little bit. Maddie Blevins, yeah. who came in and, yeah, yeah. Her favorite colors are orange and blue, but not together, of course. Now, wait a minute. She's like a, she's like from Knoxville. And speaking of that, she's a big Peyton Manning fan. All right. Correlation? I think so. <laughs> but the orange and blue part, I didn't know anybody in Knoxville liked orange and blue. I mean, she did specify not together. During my investigation, I found that the weather truly is the same up there as it is down here. For Hayden Caldwell and the rest of us here at Belmont All Access, I'm Grace Chapin. We'll see you next time. It's safe to say there was a little added history in Fenway Park tonight. For Celtics.com, I'm Grace Chapin. Thanks for watching.